Hey everybody, it's Rob. Aha! You wouldn't have expected me on my YouTube channel, right? Woo! -hoo. Um, today, my friends, I would like to talk to you a little bit about something that everybody's talking about, and I'm assuming most people are more knowledgeable on the subject than I am. Except for one person. One person is a lot less knowledgeable on the subject than I am, and that's our President Donald Trump. Yes, I have to go here because, frankly, it's getting disgusting what's going on over here in the United States. Okay, in most of the world, from what I'm reading, cases of the coronavirus have dropped. People are getting back to their normal lives. Things seem genuinely better. Not here in the United States, no. We are on a daily rise of huge numbers. I think I heard over 100,000 new cases yesterday. Which is goddamn impressive, okay? Because the only thing we have to do to help curb this and maybe even stop it in its tracks, I don't know. I'm not a president. I'm not a scientist. I'm not a doctor. I'm just a dude in the basement with a phone and a camera in his phone. Camera in his phone. The only thing we really have to do is wear our masks and stay the fuck away from each other. But not in this country. Oh, God, no. We need our haircuts. We need our baseball, we need our alcohol, we need to drink that alcohol together. We need to be in large crowds, we need protests, we need rallies. We need Trump gathering thousands of people together in a room in an auditorium to talk about how fantastic he is. I mean, the first big event uh, in the United States after the coronavirus was a President Donald Trump rally. That's right. He gathered together as many people as would come so that he could talk about how he's able to drink water with one hand and walk down a ramp. This is what this man thinks is worth human lives. Drinking water and walking slightly downhill. Down slope? I don't know. And again, I'm no doctor. I'm no scientist. I'm no genius. But I've got to think that none of these events are helping slow the spread of the coronavirus. Now, I get the need for protests, okay? What's going on in this country um, is disgusting, okay? Black people are being killed for no good goddamn reason other than the color of their skin. And I'm sick of hearing all lives matter. Yeah, they do, sure. But white men are not being killed for the color of their skin. Only black men are. Yeah, whatever. Only black men are, okay? And I assume women, too. It's disgusting. Uh, the police are out of control. So I understand the need for protests, although I don't agree with the riots. Um, I think that's a little far. But I 100% agree with the anger and the protests. So I don't, you know, obviously I can't uh, understand where they're coming from because... As a white man, I've never been kept down because of the color of my skin. But I get the need for them to do it. I understand that they would want to. So, I get all that. Um, but now, unfortunately, my friends, is not the time. Now is the time to stay the hell at home. Wear your masks and stop the spread of this virus. But not in the United States. We can't do it, okay? We can't do it. We can't stay home because it's oppressing our freedom to get haircuts and a hamburger. I mean, I don't understand, people. This virus could be slowed. Uh, I don't know how much I've heard about Italy recently. I don't know how much I've heard about China other than President Dumbfuck calling it the China virus. This is a United States problem primarily now from what I'm reading. And I could be wrong. I'm no fucking genius, but... It's just ridiculous, and I was listening to a show called Coast to Coast last night, and a, a man named George Newry, and he was talking how he doesn't understand why the numbers are so far up you know, all of a sudden. Well, I'll tell you why. It's because beaches have reopened, jackass, and bars, and we're having protests and stupid Donald Trump fucking rallies. Are you kidding me? You don't understand why the numbers are up? That's why the numbers are up, jackass. You're putting us all back together. I understand it's just terrible for the uh, economy. I get it. But I would rather 
worry about the economy than whether or not my kids are going to be alive tomorrow. Okay, and there are people that have their heads so far up Donald Trump's fucking ass that they don't agree with the scientists and the doctors and the people on the front lines. And they'll find, you know, Trump will find people that say, oh, it's a hoax. It's not a fucking hoax, okay? People are dying. And the United States is the joke of the fucking world, okay? It's just ridiculous. Stay the fuck home. And if you're going to be out, wear a mask. It's not that hard. Look at me. I'm beardy as motherfuck, but I wear a mask because I don't want my kids to die over a virus that could be prevented. And yeah, eventually we'll come out with a vaccine that they'll try and make everybody take uh, before it's even fully tested or realized everybody's going to be injecting this shit. And that in and of itself is fucking nuts, okay? I'm not even going to get going there because if you talk about... Um, vaccinations and shit that pisses people off okay the government says you take your vaccinations so you do it okay because they know it's best right the fuck they do okay there's no money in healthy people okay i guarantee that some version of uh you know cancers could be healed but they don't want to they want to, the money and there's no money in health but i'm not going to go there because again That'll piss everybody off. Once you start talking vaccines, they all think you're a fucking idiot. Listen, all of my kids are vaccinated because I'm told they have to be. But do I 100% agree that they're safe? No, I don't. I don't agree with that at all. But we're told we have to. And so we do because I guess we're fucking cheap. I don't understand. But I do what I'm told. But I don't agree with all your vaccines. I think some of them are probably ridiculous. I know my daughters have to get them at a certain age. Because uh, they say that it might stop some form of cancer later. Yet there are kids, you know, getting autism. Is it autism? Getting it? Can you get autism? I don't know. Again, I'm not a doctor. All I know is that we're just constantly taking what we're being spoon-fed in this country. And I don't know why. I do what I'm told. I do. I pay my taxes. I go to work. My kids are vaccinated. I do what I'm supposed to do. But it doesn't mean I agree with it. And it doesn't mean everybody should have to agree with it, okay? I understand your herd immunity uh, sensibilities. I get it. I do it, I'm told. But I don't agree with it. I never will, okay? I'm just blindly following the rules, which I think all of you that refuse to wear masks would probably follow the rules more if our idiot fucking president would. But no, he doesn't want to ruin his perfect orange face. What the fuck is wrong with that man? And what the fuck is wrong with people who support him? How can you, at this point in the game, still support Donald Trump? I'm, at this point, convinced that he could rape and kill your grandma on live TV and you would come up with excuses for the man. Get your heads out of that guy's fucking ass because he's stupid. Okay? He's stupid, he's dangerous, he's a bully, and he's an asshole. That's what I wanted to talk about. Everything else is... Uh, you know, just touching on subjects that are hot button issues that I probably shouldn't because there are so many people out there far more knowledgeable than I am on these. But I do know this. Donald Trump is a fucking bully. I've dealt with bullies my whole life and I know a bully when I see one and Donald Trump is one. Get your head out of his ass before we're all dead. Put your fucking masks on and try and live some kind of a normal life safely because the numbers that the United States are putting up for the coronavirus right now are fucking disgusting, you idiots. They're fucking disgusting. Grow up. Protect the ones that need protecting. Maybe you're a perfectly healthy 30-year-old white man. Fan-fucking-tastic. Not everybody are perfectly healthy 30-year-old white men. Okay? Knock it the fuck off. Put your masks on, get back to work, and shut the hell up. It isn't gonna hurt you. Wear your stupid goddamn mask, you idiots. Okay, I'm talking to you too, Karen. Or as I like to call you now, Melania. Because, let's face it, that be best bitch isn't very smart either. And she's as bad as fucking awful as her husband. But, whatever. I digress. There are going to be people out there that will have their heads up Trump's ass. I don't understand why. And don't call me a liberal or a Democrat snowflake or whatever. Fuck that. I voted twice for George W. Bush because I felt like he was the man for the job. Trump is not. 
He's not the man for the job. He's a fucking idiot. He's a piece of shit. And you all need to stop listening to him. Put your fucking masks on, okay? Put your fucking masks on. Okay, that was about ten minutes of me rambling, and I'm frankly fucking sick of hearing me say it, talk to, so... And you may hate on me, you may disagree with me, I don't care. Go for it. What am I gonna do? I'm just a douchebag living in Iowa, right? I'm not the President of the United States who's supposed to lead by example. Trump is. He doesn't. Doesn't at all. Doesn't lead by example at all. He spends his whole day kissing his own ass. That's right. His own head is far up his ass, okay? This is the kind of guy some of you people want to follow... Somebody who spends his whole day regurgitating the same fucking thing on Facebook and Twitter. Law and order. Make America great again. What the fuck? He, everything he does is the greatest it's ever been. Okay? I'm sick of seeing these posts. Uh, the Dow's up further than it's ever been. And if you elect me again, I guarantee next year will be great. Okay? I don't much like our choice against Trump. But I like him better than Trump. So I'll be voting for Biden this year. And if you have a problem with my vote, you can kiss my fucking ass, okay? Yeah, you can kiss my ass. I'm not voting for Trump. Fuck that guy. I'm voting against him. And I'm sick of voting against presidents, okay? Why do we have so many people living here and we can't come up with a better choice than Biden or Trump? And it was the same thing in 2016. We couldn't come up with better choices than Trump or Hillary Clinton. Are you goddamn kidding me? How many people live in this country? Can we get somebody qualified to step up there and give it a shot? Because these idiots aren't working. And don't give me that Trump's up, not a politician shit. He certainly acts like one. He does. He may not be a career politician. He may not have been doing it his whole life in a public arena. But he's pol political. Political. He's political as fuck, people. Get your heads out of your asses. This guy is not graciously donating all of his money. You know how much he's costing us? But he donates his paycheck. Big fucking whoop. He is spending more than those paychecks daily. Get your head out of Trump's ass. Put your mask on and go the fuck to work. Doodles, America.